Just wow, and already within the first five minutes of the show, first like five, ten minutes of the show, SmackDown has already managed to beat Raw. Literally, like, oh my god, Shane O'Mac is finally alive and well, like, I'm like, oh thank god. I thought he was dead after that horrendous botched spear by Roman Reigns right to the fucking chest, and his way his head bounced off the mat, gave him like a concussion, but oh my god, he's fine and well. He's running the show again, I'm like, oh thank the lord. And within the first, like, five minutes of already beat Raw, they have announced a freaking ladder match between, uh, AJ Styles and, um, James Ellsworth. It's James Ellsworth, because they have decided to give James a contract to SmackDown for eliminating Braun in that great SmackDown vs. Raw Survivor Series match. This has been the other main event that happened. But, uh, yeah. And if, and if, uh, Ellsworth wins, he gets the contract and a future title shot. So, AJ, please kill him. And we already have a friggin' Intercontinental title match going on right now between Kalisto and The Miz. Like, wow. Is, they already beat Raw. Their only good thing about Raw last night was, like, the Jerick Hale segment. That was it. Like, they always take care of him. Like, I think Jerick Hale's back. Have to hurt by now from carrying that whole show. Because everything else, all the matches were shitty. It was the same old stuff. New Day, title, ooh, tag team title match. Even though it ends the exact same way every time with... For some reason, a face team going over heel, winning the match heel again in the exact same way, but distracting the ref. Oh, and then the same ending with Chris Jericho screwing up the match with Rollins at the end. I'm like, at least have Triple H come out for God's sakes. No, like you need to get Rollins out of the title picture and focus on a rivalry between him and Triple H to really build up the face momentum and everything too. It'd be great. Like when you give up, sorry, getting other people title shots too. But no, no, we can at least have Triple H pretty match. But no, we're just gonna have the same old Jericho Hill at the end. Even though I love two segments, but the way they're doing their matches are, are not good. SmackDown has been building up better rivalries, been building up better matches in everything. But anyway, sorry about that long tyrant. Uh, that's actually not why I'm, I'm doing this video right now. I'm doing this here to tell you all guys, there will be no videos, no videos until um, thanks, uh, till, uh, the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, cause I have work all day tomorrow, and as soon as I get off of work tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, as soon as I get off work, um, I'm going straight up to Utah to go visit some family and friends for, uh, Thanksgiving. So, that'll be fun, and so there will be, uh, no more streams or anything till Universe Mode HUW on Friday for the Payback Pay-Per-View. That'll be great, so, go check me out there, but that's when I'll see you guys next. So, until next time, I'm gonna finish up this, uh, so until next time, I'll... See you guys then. We're gonna see how Miz retains this uh, kind of championship, this kind of time match. But I'll make sure to get my reactions here real quick to end this video. Just how James Ellsworth and uh, AJ ends up. Because, God, I hope they give AJ the win. Like, they're making their champion. There is one thing that SmackDown is doing. One thing. And that they, they're they making their champion look so weak. He's, they, they've lost the AJ, I mean, Ellsworth twice. And you know Dean's is gonna come back in the building at the end of the match. Like, I swear to God. But we'll see what happens. We'll see. And both shows predictable. Oh, I thought I'm Dean Ambrose. Never mind. But no, Dean's gonna cost for the match. And both shows predictable, as as always. Never mind. But SmackDown still won. That tagging tournament turmoil was great. The Wyatts and the uh, Randy and Brian are going to tag titles. That'll be interesting. It's going to be trouble. Anyways, I'll see you guys later on uh, freaking. Uh, Universe mode on Friday. Until then, I'll be on break myself. So, you guys enjoy your work. I'll see you guys Friday on Universe mode. Hope to see you guys then. Let me see. Let's see if uh, AJ can climb this ladder for us first. No. Peace out. Do it, AJ. James, no! James! James, what the hell? So. AJ, get up! AJ! Where the hell's the club? I don't give a damn. I don't care what brand it is. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! He's climbing the ladder. He's climbing the ladder. Guys. Guys, he's no. No. His foot is stuck in the rope! Are you serious? Are you serious? AJ!
Well, SmackDown officially has a new superstar on their roster, James Ellsworth. But, um, but, uh, yeah, uh, Spencer will be making one of his first, considering his debut on HUW in a hardcore championship match for the hardcore title against Anthony's wrestler, Anthony Zagarelli, in a hardcore, uh, backstage brawl, hardcore championship match. So, uh, for the belt, that'll be interesting. And then, uh, championship match between, uh, Punk and Rollins and Callum Games and uh, Spectre. So, uh, last match pay per view for uh, Friday. Until then, I'll be on work as well. I gotta do work. And uh, I'll see you guys Friday on HUW. See you guys then.